So I have this Halo smart sensor connected and I am uh, right now looking at the live view. This is the current level of metrics for vape, vape THC, vandal, and this is like if someone were trying to tamper with the device, for example, you would get some kind of alarm. Aggression detection, if people start yelling at each other, um, this is something that would typically resemble something like a, a fight starting to, to brew and, and uh, would give security personnel um, advance notice to deploy staff to a certain area where there might be a potential fight. Uh, CO2, temperature, humidity, light level. Right now it's basically just in a uh, an indoor area with fluorescent lighting. Um, so I can do a number of things. I can try turning off the lights. I can try uh, yelling in, in, in this room to see if that trips the uh, aggression detection. And I can also try moving the device because it's not really installed, it's just sitting in a box. So I can try moving it to see if that trips the vandal proof rating. So I'm gonna do each of these three now. Uh, I don't have any vape objects or THC, so I can't really test those, but uh, you're more than welcome to test it yourself using one of our demo models. So I'm gonna walk into the other room now and try the vandal test where I'm moving the object, moving the sensor, the aggression, uh, uh, screaming into the, into the unit or at least screaming in the room and turning off the light to see if that changes these numbers. Okay, so walking back into this room, um, I noticed that the vandal alarm did go off. There was an audible alarm and there were lights flashing on the sensor, which helps prevent uh, vandals from taking these units off of the ceiling, for example. Uh, the aggression detection, I was yelling into the sensor, not into it, but you know, a couple feet away from it, yelling, and it probably didn't get higher than this level right here. So I would adjust this um, for this particular room. I would adjust this level to make it more sensitive. Um, these All of these levels can be adjusted to alert you whenever you want. And then I did see the lux go down to around seven when i shut off the lights so everything seems to be working properly there um let's see what else here oh by the way the configuration for this device you can you can see the various settings which can be configured and you can set this, let's say, aggression detection uh, to a lower number to make it more sensitive. It looks like right now it's set to 100,000 and you can bring it down to 10,000 
or higher. So you can bring it down by around 90%. Um, other than that, we will go on to the next tab here. And you can see the various levels of metrics for the various types of reporting here. Again, you can, I guess this is not CO2, it's carbon monoxide. Uh, <laughs> but you can see the various thresholds and the actions and whatnot. You can program what you want the sensor to do when it detects these various events and that can be you know sending an event to your VMS such as milestone exprotect or emailing you or texting you or all of the above uh, including certain types of flashing lights it has red or green LED color it looks like it has more than that it has n numerous colors here uh, and then it has numerous sound options as well as the ability to configure your speaker this would be the template modification for the email And if you wanted to do some type of text message, you would just have it um, sent to your carrier's email address. So for Verizon, it would be bztext.com, your, your phone number at bztext.com. All the, all the wireless carriers have these options to send an email to text. There's more advanced functionality down here. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what the sensor can accomplish. Uh, again, I don't have any kind of THC or vape on me, so I can't really uh, illustrate the effectiveness of this, but this product did win best new product of the year at ISC West and um, it is it can be used for a number of scenarios whether it's for schools to help minimize vaping uh, minimize bullying and potentially help with um, detecting various chemicals in the air such as cleaning chemicals that are not particularly safe for uh, people to be breathing in. It can be used for surgery rooms where you need to have a certain uh, humidity level. Um, hotel rooms where uh, people should not be smoking. This device will alert you when someone is smoking or will tell you if uh, someone has smoked whether it was vape or THC and at some point in the near future I was told 2020 quarter one there's going to be gunshot detection built in with the, with the simple firmware update so if you have any other questions please uh, email us or contact us on our website customvideosecurity.com 
our email sales at customvideosecurity.com and you can call us at 310-370-9500 extension 1.